the guidance for exercise was a minimum of 30 minutes, uh, at least five days a week, um, using perceived exertion scale hitting 60 to 80% perceived exertion. So, you know, movement that requires increased breathing, but you can still hold a conversation, sort of the range of that. So you're, 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 you're getting some movement in, but you're not um, uh, up towards max. And again, yes, our, our, it was our read on the literature. Mm. Exercise is fabulously beneficial. Um, and again, you know, let me just say that I am not advocating that we all do that type of intervention forever. It was mm. for this program and we were trying to, uh, you know, it has to be as one size fits all as possible, you know, when you're doing a study. Um, too much exercise or pushing someone who's uh, a couch potato towards an aggressive exercise program um, would be problematic and we would see aberrant cha negative changes. Um, under lack of movement likewise is associated with problems. And, 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 and that's corroborated in the literature specifically relating to DNA methylation. And I think in our paper, you'll see a handful of citations. Um, more evidence is coming out showing exercise is beneficial to aging, of course, and specifically as measured by DNA methylation. We needed an easy turnkey sort of validated tool um, that we could readily prescribe that didn't have a high learning curve that didn't require, you know, years of practice prior to and Benson relaxation response is that it's, it's just a very straightforward tool for those folks who are just, who are new to a meditation practice. And so that's why we chose it. And the data, uh, you know, appear pretty clear that people who've got a good solid meditation practice or, you know, are engaged in yoga or Tai Chi and, you know, other, other programs um, have younger uh, biological ages. And you know, what's interesting too, is you can see some, you know, apparently favorable epigenetic changes, not, not, not to biological aging, but just sort of moving in the direction of favorable changes, even in new meditators and people without a lot of experience, sort of suggesting that, you know, they're on the right, they're on the right path. So um, the other piece, you know, as I wrote about in the paper is, well, First of all, there was an interesting study looking just at the relaxation response and seeing favorable outcome in age reversal in healthy individuals. And I cite that in the paper. But um, the other interesting piece is the, you know, the, the paper again out of Horvath's lab where they look at the, um, you know, the 2013 clock that we used and, and show that, you know, up to 25% of those CPG sites are, 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 are glucocorticoid response elements, you know, just suggesting that stress, um, particularly in the Horvath and that particular clock, I mean, was a potent driver of aging. I mean, it's really kind of mind blowing. <laughs>